so the XL goes down, uh, the fractional isotropy also goes down. So it looks as though the diffusion is um, more isotropic than the group that is moving less. Um, so obviously this is an issue for any clinical study where one group might be moving more. Uh, so it's important to quantify the amount of motion in between the groups. And uh, it's important to make sure that the motion measures are matched because if there's similar levels of motion, you can um, uh, be uh, much more certain that you won't get these, um, uh, these effects uh, due to the difference in head motion. And we have also shown in the same work that, like I said, was just accepted to your image, uh, that it's also possible to use those motion measures as regressors in the analysis and get rid of uh, much of these um, uh, differences. So after that depressing note, um, we're going to go into the tutorial. So there's three steps to run track all. And all steps involve running the command track all, but with a different option. So there's the pre-processing step, uh, the step where you fit the ball and stick model. So you basically run FSL's bed post to the pre-processed data. And the final step is the one where you actually reconstruct the pathways. And for all of these steps, you have to give it a uh, configuration file. That's a text file that has all the different uh, processing options. So instead of having uh, multiple you know, uh, options arguments here on the command line, you have this file where you define the, um, all the uh, parameters of the pre-processing and uh, the reconstruction. And then the same parameters are applied to um, reconstruct the tracks in all of your subjects. So you're going to see how you set up this configuration file. Um, and uh, you're not actually going to run any of these steps because they're going to take longer than the um, uh, amount of time that you have for the tutorial. Uh, but in fact, once the, most of the work is just uh, choosing the parameters uh, in the configuration file. And then you um, just run these steps. So as part of the tutorial, you can see how to set up that uh, configuration file where you specify where your images are, what the gradient directions were, what the v-values were to acquire the data, uh, what registration methods you're going to use, uh, both to register within subject, the anatomical to the diffusion scan, and uh, between subjects. And then you are actually going to not actually run Tricular, but uh, see how you would run it um, if you had more time. And then you're going to look at uh, the pathways um, in free view. So you're going to see how you can look at each one um, uh, for each pathway, the volumetric uh, probability distribution of that pathway, and also how you can visualize all of them uh, together with the minus TV or track volume um, option in free view. And then you're also going to look at those stat files that come out for each of your subjects. So like I said before, uh, you get either averages of the different measures over the entire pathway, or you get values of the measures along the pathway at different locations along the pathway. Uh, so this is all the stuff that you are going to do in the tutorial after lunch. <coughs>